fellow Diamond Painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm super excited to bring to you my latest Diamond Painting haul from Paint Some Way. I'm sure you guys have seen um, them popping up all over the place. I was so excited to see these. There has been a huge explosion in the number of stained glass looking kits and you all know I love the stained glass look. I think it translates really well to diamond painting so I found four that I thought were amazing and yeah I'm just gonna jump in in no particular order because I'm so excited to see these I I think the explosion has been due to a bunch of AI art being out there but I just love the stained glass look and like I said I think it translates really well to diamond painting Ooh. Look at those drills. All right, toolkit, standard toolkit, boat, plate of wax, pink pen. And then we get our drills in these lovely little baggies. Look at those colors. It is a round drill, as you can see. And here it is. This one is a 40 by 30. So it's a little bit larger than I normally would get, but I just love the stained glass look of it. And it's a lighthouse with you know the light coming out of it there's kind of a dark night sky over here and then the waves and there's i think a little ship behind it maybe but i i know someone who really loves lighthouses and i think lighthouses are cool too so i thought this one was really pretty so 25 colors we do get a schematic on both sides we do have the dmc codes on both sides so that's awesome and I'm trying to look and see if I see any place where the symbols might give me an issue. It's nice and sticky. I don't really see anything that looks like it's going to give me an issue. The symbols are nice and clear, none next to each other that look like they'd be difficult to see. A lot of black in this one, I think. Oh, it's not black. What is that? Where's It's 939, so a lot of very dark blue in this one. Okay, so this is 40 by 30. Let's measure this one and see. It is 35 by 25, so a little less than 30 by 40, but that's usual. This one was only $4.99. And again, I just really love how these look. I'm so excited to see how these turn out. All right, let's look at our drills. Okay, so I've got all of the drills here. And I just wanna say, somebody questioned or, or made a comment that all the drills in a kit that I had opened uh, came in numerical order. I think pretty much most kits come that way. I think it just doesn't translate when I open them because I get them all out of order because I'm looking at them based on you know whether or not they're ABs or whatever, except for Diamond Art Club. Diamond Art Club used to come in DMC order, but I don't think they do anymore. I think they come in order of number of drills from smallest to largest. But most, most kits this size, they'll come in order. Just wanted to make that clear. Okay, so let's look at our colors here. So here's our big bag of 939 that is our kind of dividing and background color. Then we've got this kind of periwinkle gray, a very dark gray, a caramel, ooh, kind of a burnt red, a tan, a, a light gray. These are slipping out of my hands here. We got a little stowaway in there, but a red, a very light yellow, a very pale blue, Kind of a turquoise blue and off-white that's kind of a mustardy yellow and kind of a dark mauve and then we get ooh, that's pretty very bright kind of orangish yellow a kind of milk chocolate color a salmon a mauve a blue a bright yellow a bright blue i really like that one that one's pretty a kind of a greenish turquoise and then we've got two shades of peach like a lighter peach and a darker peach and then a brown so there's all of our colors and like I said I can't wait to see how some of these turn out so here's the lighthouse one I will stick a link for it down below and I will be right back with the second one all right this second one 
so excited for all of these, but excited to see all of the different options that are available out there. I mean, they had animals and birds and, you know, like landscape scenes like the lighthouse. This, this canvas is a lot thinner than the first one. That first one was kind of the standard kind of thick tarp canvas. This one's a little bit thinner, so that's good. All right, standard toolkit, boat plate of wax pink pen. And we get our drills again in baggies and it's a round kit. And this one, a little bit of a different style, but again, that same kind of stained glass look. So yeah, it's this cute little yellow hummingbird and then all the blues and purples in the background. I just thought this one was really pretty. So this one is 30 by 40 also, but instead of a, a landscape, this one has the portrait orientation. Only 22 colors in this one. We do have a schematic on both sides and we do have our DMC codes. So that's always nice. Love it when we get the DMC codes. It is nice and sticky where it needs to be. Trying to look here and see if I've got any symbols next to each other. Is there a, an S? No, B is, is green, the S is brown, the R is white. So shouldn't have any trouble telling those apart. P is blue. So yeah, it looks like they've done a good job of making all of the colors different in this one. So this one is 30 by 40. So let's measure. This one is 25 by 35 as expected. And again, we've got our 22 colors. Interesting. The last kit did not have any 310 and neither does this one. So that's cool. So this one is also $4.99. Let me get into the drills and I'll be right back. All right. So let's take a look at these drills. Lots of blues in here. So we've got, ooh, what is this? Five, six different shades of blue, seven, seven different shades of blue. So we've got like a, a blue, plain blue, then kind of a pale mint blue, a sky blue, very kind of bright electric blue, a light turquoise blue, and then we've got two different shades. This one is slightly darker of like another sky blue. We've got a very dark kind of royal blue a very bright orange, a turquoise green, kind of a olive mustard yellow, a very, very dark kind of reddish brown, a bright yellow, a purple. Let me get the rest of these out of the way here so we can see what colors they are. Then we've got like a dark forest hunter green, we've got an, a kind of an olive green, a very dark purple, a spring green, whoops, that's two, a yellow, another kind of pale green, a lighter purple, and then a green. So there's all the colors for that one. And again, I will stick a link for this down below. And let me get these drills put away and I'll move on to stained glass number three. All right, kit number four, let me get into this one. No, number three, I'm not to number four yet. Kit number three, this canvas is a bit stiffer, but, and this one is a bit smaller than the other two. So again, standard tool kit, boat plate of wax, pink pen. This time our drills are not in baggies and it doesn't look like we have DMC codes on the bags, but that's okay. So we'll look at those in a minute. Here is this gorgeous kit. I love cardinals. We have a, a couple that live in our backyard. We actually saw Mama Cardinal the other day and I was pointing her out to my husband because he'd never actually seen one in the wild before. Because of course, Mama Cardinals are not as bright and red as the male versions. Wow, okay, so this is only 30 by 30, but it has 21 colors. That's actually quite a lot of colors for the size of this. We do have our DMC codes along with our schematic on both sides, so that's good. The white background, not my favorite thing, especially since they've used the M symbol, which makes it hard to cover up with your drills unless you place them exactly right. It does look like there's some white in the background of the 
actual stained glass circle itself. But I just thought this one was really pretty. A lot of dark colors. I'm trying to see if it looks like there's any that are going to be. B is a different color than 8. And B, C, and D are all different colors. E and F are different colors. So it looks like no problems with being able to tell the colors apart. So this is a 30 by 30. So let's measure 25 by 25. So pretty consistent. And this one is also $4.99. Let's get into our drills. Okay, so we've got a string of drills here. Let's see, we've got like a very pale mint blue, kind of a purplish brown a dark brown, kind of a yellowish golden orange, a pale peach, a butterscotch, a brown, a red, a brick red, a darker peach, a sky blue, an orange, kind of a reddish orange, it's like a coral color, turquoise blue, a gray, a red, and then is that two bags? Yes, two bags of black. So this one actually has some black in it, but only two bags. And then we have like a kind of a light mauve and a very dark purple. And then we have another kind of darker peach and two bags of white for the background and kind of little pieces inside which two bags of white, two bags of black, not bad for these kinds of paintings. Usually, you know, the darker colors because you have all the divisions between the like sections of where it's supposed to look like stained glass can be quite a lot, but only two bags is not bad. All right, let me get these drills put away and onto canvas number four. All right, and canvas number four. This one again is a little bit stiff. All right, standard toolkit, boat, plate of wax, pink pen. Here we have our drills. Again, no DMC codes on the bags. Round drills. And let's look at our canvas. So this is another lighthouse, but this one is a portrait rather than a landscape. And it's a little bit different. We've got like this window with the stained glass pieces around it. And then we've got a lighthouse with the ship and the waves and the clouds. I just really like this one. I thought it was really pretty. So this one only has 21 colors, but we do have the DMC codes on the canvas, so that's good. And we do have 310 in this one as well. So it looks like it's down here. Let's see, B's and D's are different colors. So those will be okay. R's look like Hmm, are there any of them together? They are different colors than the W. It doesn't look like there's any R's next to B's, so I think you'd be okay, but might need a light pad for this one. All right, so this one is 30 by 40. Let's measure. This one is 23 by 32 and a half. So a little bit smaller than the other ones, a little bit bigger margins on these than the other three. This one is also $4.99. And again, I will be sticking links to all of these below so that you can check all of these out for yourself. Again, there's a ton of these kind of stained glass ones. And you guys know I love this style. I think, again, it just lends itself really well to diamond painting. All right, let's look at the drills. All right, again, these are not in baggies, but that's okay. Let me find the end here and let's look at some of these. So we've got like a very dark purple, a light gray, black, darker gray, a red, a very dark gray, like a very dark hunter green, a kind of mustard yellow, a bright orange, slightly less bright orangish yellow, yellow, and then a very pale yellow. Then we get like a bright blue, a turquoise blue, very dark blue, dark brown, a dark slate blue, a sky blue, then we get a very, very pale, like mint blue, another light sky blue, and a light gray. 
or I mean a dark gray. There are all of the drills. Let me see if I can get these all put back together and then I will be right back with a recap. Don't go anywhere. Okay guys, just to recap, we've got our lighthouse here. We've got our pretty little cardinal. We've got our hummingbird and we've got our other lovely little lighthouse. I will again put links to all of these down below so that you can go check them out for yourself. There are a ton of these stained glass style diamond paintings out there. Usually the ones I find are Disney, so I was super excited to find some that were other things because again, I think this style just lends itself real to really well to diamond painting, especially when you're doing something smaller like these 30 by 30s or 30 by 40s. I think they turn out super well. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.